Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2021 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. Today we're going to be showing you some 80s animated independent movies, and there's some fantasy on there as well. So let's dive right into this today on the Physical Media Video Library Series. Welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to be showing you some of these 80s independent animated movies and some 80s fantasy on here. Especially these animated movies on here. Movies that are done traditionally in 2D animation as well. So let's dive into what we got here, because it won't be take too long as well. The first one here I got here is the Enchanted Edition of The Last Unicorn, because I know this is an animated fantasy movie on here. It's done by Rankin Base ITC Entertainment, and it's animated in Japan by the Japanese anime studio company um, Topcraft, which later became, which went out of business and now became Studio Ghibli. After you know, once Hayao Miyazaki has worked on Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, it changed everything to Studio Ghibli as well. But that's just how it is as well. Yeah, The Last Unicorn features the cast, like Jeff Bridges, Mia Farrow, and Angela Lansbury in that one. Yeah, it's this one I have here, from what I understand. Yeah, this is a two... Whoa. Shit, yikes. Sorry, I almost dropped that. So, this is basically a the Enchanted Edition release from Shout Factory, because this comes with a Blu-ray and the DVD on here. This includes the brand new audio commentary, the true magic, the story of the last unicorn. This has the uh, animated storyboards, and this includes the highlights from the last unicorn worldwide screen tour with Peter S. Beagle. And this has the trailer to the film. So if you take the discs out, which I was going to show you, even though I have read the, the graphic novel of the last unicorn and the original novel of the last unicorn, which is the original story by Peter S. Beagle on here, Here's a reversible cover on here. The unicorn on it, huh? Yeah, because cause that's how I have both versions I have. This has the DVD version and the Blu-ray, because it's the Enchanted Edition I have on there from Shout Factory on here, which I have here. If you want to check out my DVD Blu-ray comparison of The Last Unicorn, I'll probably put the link in the description if you want to check that out as well. Because this was only like a dollar when I got this at a library book sale, I believe, here from what I understand. And the next one that I got here, because I have is Heavy Metal, because I have this on Blu-ray for the first time, because why not? Because I wanted to get this movie when I was at the Rasputin Music back in 2019, when I was buying a lot of anime, because most of my buyings is mostly anime I wanted to get as well, so I can start my anime collection. But anyways, back to the what I was saying on Heavy Metal... The special features on the Blu-ray release of Heavy Metal has the original feature-length rough cut with optional commentary by Carl Masek. This has some deleted scenes with some commentary on there. This has Imagining Heavy Metal documentary on there. Because I noticed this has some of the casts from Second City Television, like John Candy, Harold Ramis, um, Eugene Levy as well. And this includes Roger Bumpus, who is the voice of Squidward from Spongebob in that one. I noticed this also features Martin Lava and Susan Ro Don Franks and Susan Roman, who are from the movie Rock and Rule, are in the film Heavy Metal as well, which I forgot to mention. Because I noticed there's some music in Heavy Metal, which are um, Black Sabbath, Blue Oyster Cult, Cheap Trick, Devo, Donald Fagan, Don Felder, Grand Funk Railroad, Sammy Hagar, Journey, Nazareth, Stevie Nicks, Riggs and Trust on there. This is particularly for contemporary animation of how heavy metal has a lot to do when it comes to these independent animated movies on here, from what I understand as well. Because why not? Because you can't go wrong with this one here on the movie Heavy Metal, because it's a great film. Because I was going to. And here's the, the reversible cover, what it looks like. Just like a. Here's the artwork on the Blu ray here as well. And here's what the artwork on the heavy metal looks like. Here's that. It's the the trial the, the trial scene in the, the courtroom in the 
Captain Stern Hanover Fist sequence in heavy metal. Because why not? Because if you want to check out my DVD review, if you want to check out my Blu-ray compa comparison Blu-ray overview video on heavy metal Blu-ray edition, I'll probably put the link also in the description if you want to check that out as well. At your leisure at some point as well. From what I understand as well. From what y'all know. I, if you if you like heavy metal, there's rock and rule. I highly recommend you as well, because I don't have rock and rule on DVD or Blu-ray yet. But yeah, it's been a while since I've seen rock and rule on VHS back then. Because but don't worry, I will pick it up on Blu-ray at some point as well. Either Shout Factory or Arrow Video would get the license for rock and rule because the DVD of rock and rule that was released by Unearthed Films was out of print, and it's kind of a rarity as well, from what I understand as well. And what's that other movie I want to get? Um, Star Chaser, The Legend of Orin. That's another one I need to get as well, which I haven't seen before as well. And this one is also can be companion to some 80s independent animated movies of that decade. With some Ralph Bakshi ones here I have here is American Pop. This is actually my favorite Ralph Bakshi film. Because, you know, Ralph Bakshi is the director who brought, who worked on Fritz the Cat, Lord of the Rings, Wizards, Fire and Ice, many of his works as well. Cool thing about American Pop is this is released in 1981, which is around the same time as Heavy Metal as well. Because it's from the animation innovator of how Ralph Bakshi had a lot to do with as well. I noticed there's some music from The Doors, The Mamas and the Papas, Jimi Hendrix, Leonard Skinner, Pat Benatar, Bob Seger in the movie American Pop. I mean, what I think of the movie American Pop? I think this is basically my favorite Ralph Bakshi film from the 80s as well. Because even the... Because I'm wondering if American Pop would have gotten a Blu-ray release in standard def high def quality, just like how they what Sony Home Entertainment did with Heavy Metal as well. Yeah, this was really this one was only released on VHS and Laserdisc back in the late '80s as well, no, not late '80s, late '90s as well when it was first released on video, along with Heavy Metal as well. From what I understand as well. Yeah, because this. I think I got this DVD of American Pop a while back at um, uh, Resputin Music, I believe it was. Because I got this a while back at Resputin Music. Here's the, the disc on there. This the same artwork as the, the, D, the front cover of the DVD of an American Pop on there. Pretty soon I will get Rock and Rule and Star Chaser Legend of Orin as well. It's one of these 80s independent animated movies. Especially the ones that... They don't make these types of movies as much as they used to. Because it's kind of a dead genre for independent animated movies from the the 80s, from the mid, from the 70s all the way to the mid 80s as well, from their whereabouts as well. Yeah, Rock and Roll has both versions on the DVD. You know, like the American theatrical cut version and the Canadian cut version, which includes The Devil and Daniel Mouse on there, because both were created by Nelvana. If you like heavy metal, I recommend you Rock and Rule as well, because it's been a while since I've seen Rock and Rule on VHS as well. They don't make those types of animated movies from that are independent from the 70s to the 80s from their whereabouts as well. But I noticed there's some in the 90s on there, because everything is doing CG now. Well, there's some... CG element parts in Rock and Rule, as well as they use have the use of multiplying camera on there, as well. Because I know there's some fewer independent animated movies in the 90s as well, but that's kind of when CG started to take over. You know, once Toy Story came out, it just changed everything. You know, Toy Story is a fantastic movie. It's a good movie. You'll love it. But I wanted to learn my appreciation of animation, especially both 2D animation and some CG in general, just to give me my thoughts on there. But it's only been around for a little bit for independent animated movies as well, but not that much as well from their whereabouts as well, from what I understand as well. But I noticed there there's only one independent animated movies in the mid-2000s, but I think it's only going to that are part of foreign films. 
you know, once Persepolis came out in 2007, but I think it's part of the foreign films, an, the animated foreign films category of the genre of the late 2000s on there. Yeah, that's just how it is as well. But, but there I noticed there's, they stopped doing traditional animation when it comes to how they're doing with CG as well. You know, once Disney did Winnie the Pooh back in 2011, that's the last Disney film that they used traditional animation on there. Instead, everything they're doing now is CG animation as well, from what I understand. You know, once Zootopia came out in 2016, it just changed, the animation changes everything of how they use CG. But I noticed traditional animation has been around in some t cartoons as well as kids' shows and most other types of animated shows. Well, at least 2D animation exists in Japan, but I think that's only for anime. You know, once they use t traditional animation, like 2D animation for a Japanese anime, because I think, even though I love anime, because... But I'm starting to learn appreciation of how they use it. But that's just how it is. So that's going to be it for my video for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm saying for this one. For now that I'm doing my little knowledge on this, on how I'm learning to appreciate animation in general as well, because I'm starting to have some common knowledge as well, from what I understand as well, from to get the ball rolling as well, because, you know, they stopped doing traditional animation for movies and all, because everything they're doing in CG nowadays as well, you know, when Zootopia came out in 2016, it changes everything as well. Same goes for Wreck-It Ralph and Br came out in 2012. It changes everything as well. But that's just how it is. Hope subscribe for content on my anime panel. Link in the description below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook. If you have a Twitter and Facebook account on all social media, smack the like button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuRoniK95. Feel free to join the channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified as well. And that's all i got to say. Because I'm starting to learn some appreciation and my common knowledge as well. Because I wanted to discuss about this for this video that is made possible with the physical media video library series. Because this video is going to definitely take the cake as well. That didn't take very long because this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video and hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos and sayonara.